a new personality, for we are also his offspring. Acts 17, 28. Would it be too much to say that personality is the use or misuse we are making of a unique something back of personality which is expressing through it? Would it be too much to say that back of every personality there must be a divine pattern of individualization which personality but dimly perceives and even more inaccurately interprets? If so, personality has a possibility far beyond anything that is merely physiological or psychological, for it has the possibility not of becoming a mask to hide the reality behind it, but rather an open countenance through which this individuality shall become expressed. Ernest then offers a uh, short prayer or meditation, and if you'd like to close your eyes during this time, you may. Today I express myself, believing that there is a presence hidden within me which is both the reality of my true being and the presence of God. I consciously unite my personal self and all its actions with this overdwelling and indwelling reality. I know that the vitality of the living spirit flows through my personality, invigorating it. I know that all the warmth and color and beauty that there is, is pouring through it. I do not deny my personality, but affirm that all its impulsions and actions flow from a greater source, the presence of God in me as what I am.